something I've mentioned quite a few times when I've been discussing Mickey's Mickey Mouse Clubhouse is that I love how much young children can relate to Mickey Mouse Clubhouse and how much it prepares them for different kinds of scenarios. For example, with this episode, Minnie's pyjama party, Minnie is throwing a pyjama party in the clubhouse and many children will go to sleepovers and it can be quite an apprehensive time, particularly if it's their first time spent away from home. They don't know what to expect. With this episode, children are being introduced to the concept of what to expect. Maybe not exactly. Minnie has a very specific setup. She's preparing milk and pie. I've never heard of sleepover pie, but maybe that's just me. And they do dances to tire themselves out. She's in her pajamas. They spend time in their sleeping bags. They tell each other stories. It's a really nice introduction to what a child might be able to expect at a sleepover and can help to provide them with a little bit of assurance about what might happen. I can't remember my first sleepover, but I imagine I would have been quite nervous because I was a very timorous child, scared of absolutely everything. So this kind of thing would have been reassuring for me. I also love the fact that Goofy was telling scary stories. I won't spoil too much about what it was or what happened, but they heard a noise. And instead of letting themselves be scared by this noise, Mickey asked everybody to think logically about what the noise could have been and what could have been causing it so that they weren't that scared. And I think that that's a great thing to, to include in this because children shouldn't have to not tell scary stories. It's part of growing up. Most people have been to sleepovers and told each other scary stories and it can get quite scary, particularly if you're staying away from home and there are new sounds and new things for you to discover that you're not used to. But Mickey asks him to think logically about what could be causing that sound. And I think that that was a really positive approach because most children will get scared by some sound when they're away from home. And there are opportunities for learning, of course, more direct learning. For example, Minnie has to cut the pie up into six pieces and she asks the viewer to help her work out how to do that. Three plus three is six. So there are a lot of great opportunities for learning, but for me, ultimately, the thing that I think is the strongest about this episode is the relatability, how much it can put a child at ease about something that should be a really enjoyable experience. Sleepovers, of course, are not meant to be torturous. They're not meant to be scary. They're meant to be fun. A great opportunity to spend time with your friends. I loved Minnie's pyjamas. She looked particularly adorable. And um, I won't say what exactly, but there are two characters who appear towards the end of the episode and I thought they looked adorable. Very, very cute. Very well animated episode, a brilliant narrative that's really beneficial to the younger viewer. It's also educational, mostly through counting. I think Minnie's Pyjama Party is definitely a very strong episode of Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. <laughs>